products that I don't know what they are. So let's find out and let's just play with them and see if I can even play with them. Hopefully I don't die. But yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm ready for this. Mystery Amazon weird products. Let's go. What if they're not even weird? What if they're just completely normal? Okay, so there's a box. I'm not gonna look in the box. I'm just gonna grab something and put the box over here. What? This thing is already weird. This is the first thing. It is zombie jerky. It's supposed to be teriyaki, but look at it. It's all green and stuff. Ew, ew. It says, if you're reading this, the zombie apocalypse has happened and it's awesome. Why is that awesome? Harko Slab supplies you with delicious and nutritious zombie jerky snacks, the world's first artificial green flavored beef jerky. And it's a great snack for you when you chase down zombies or run from them. Okay, so is it made from zombies? What? Specimen name. Uh, what? Okay, I'm gonna open it. Okay, it smells like normal beef jerky. It smells normal. Okay, but look at it. It's green. Look how strange that is. This is green zombie jerky. Oh, that is so weird. Zombie jerky, and it looks like, I don't know if it's beef, I don't know what it is, but it has vitamins. That's what it says on this side. It has vitamin B12, vitamin C, vitamin calcium. That's not a vitamin, but it says, wait, that is a vitamin, but it doesn't say vitamin, it just says vitamin. Oh, wait, actually there is no calcium. This is zero percent, zero. Okay. All right, let's try this. I thought this was gonna be like a green tea flavored beef jerky. <laughs> Cause it's like green, but here we go. I'm gonna try this out. That's not bad, but the green stuff, is this zombie? Am I gonna be a zombie now if I eat this? Am I gonna turn into one? Is this FDA approved? It definitely does not say FDA approved or anything. And something else is like crossed off right here. It doesn't say what kind of meat it is. It's just markered off. What? Green powder is very like off-putting because it's just so green, but it doesn't taste like anything. It's just like a powder and it kind of coats your tongue. Mm. All right, it's weird now. I'm freaking myself out because I like it so much. I'm like eating all of it. I'm gonna eat the whole bag. Definitely edible. I would have spit it out if it was nasty. It's definitely edible. Kind of good, but the green stuff is kind of weird. Definitely a weird Amazon product. I would rate this. Mm, I'd give this like a... Like a 7.7, .7, cause you can eat it. What is this? A what? A unicorn popper? What is this? Unicorn popper. Okay, so I have a unicorn popper. It's a squeezable soft foam shooter. What? It looks cool. I like the way it looks. It's beautiful. Let me open this bad boy. Ooh, unicorn popper. Look how beautiful this is. Yes, my little baby unicorn. Look at this. I'm gonna pop some unicorn. Oh! Whoa, this thing shoots so far and it makes a cute noise too, like, boop. I'm gonna put this one in here. Ooh, it's such a satisfying sound when you pop the unicorn popper, wait. Oh, ooh, it just warms my heart. Oh my gosh, that one got some power. Unicorn popper, attack. Oh, whoa, whoa, it came back to me. Wait, watch this, let me shoot it again. Unicorn popper, oh my, where'd it go? Oh, that one didn't work well. Here we go, let me get this one again. Oh my gosh, this unicorn popper is dangerous. This is a dangerous weapon. It looks friendly and normal, but this thing is crazy. Oh my gosh. I would rate this an 8.5 because it is one, very fun to shoot. It is actually kind of dangerous and it makes a really cool, cute noise and it looks really cute. So 8.5, good job, Amazon. I really like this unicorn popper. On to the next one, here we go. No, 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 what's the next thing I want? What is this? Poo dough. What? It's like Play Doh, but poop dough. Looks like the real thing. I'm an expert at that, so I'll tell you if it looks like the real thing or not. Poop dough. Okay, here we go. Poop dough. Let me check you out here. Poop dough. Looks like the real thing. Does it smell like the real thing? Please, God, don't smell like the real thing. I think it smells like it. Or right, maybe that's just my head. Okay, no, it smells like Play Doh. Okay, that's good. Um, you can add corn and peanuts to it. That is so disgusting. Okay, so this is poop dough. It's not from the makers of Play Doh, but it's called poo dough. Uh, it's for ages three and up. It even comes with a, a mold. Oh my gosh. I guess I have some brown poop right here. And I got some like darker poop right here. You're supposed to like, well, they're very hard. These are very hard pieces of Play Doh. Like, they're like hockey pucks. This thing is like, whoa, whoa. Look at, oh, Jesus. 
This thing is so hard, so crispy. Okay, I need to shape this bad boy. Wait, it's not mushy. It's a weird. Okay, this is definitely not from the makers of Play-Doh because I think they use a different recipe and it's not as good as Play-Doh's recipe. Because look at this, it's all like hard and stuff. Okay, it's like a real poop. It's like hard. Not that I've ever touched one before or anything. That's, you know, that's be weird. But it's oh my gosh, this one's like hard. Wow. Okay, then mix this together. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna put this in here like this. Oh, see, look at, like, I'm an artiste. I am an artiste. Look at this. This is a brown with a darker brown. And you just, you know, don't worry, I'm a poop expert. I don't need a mold to make one. I know what they look like. Okay, I might have to use the mold now, but okay, so I have a mold right here. I'm gonna squeeze this in here. Mm. Yes. Give me some poop. Ah! Ah! Oh, what the heck? That is so weird. Wait, let me show you guys what this looks like. Let me just get some of the excess poop out of here. This is pretty realistic looking, guys. Oh my gosh. You know, poops are hard to get done sometimes, so I'm glad that I can make this one done. Here we go. Ew! Ew, look at it! Look at that, it looks disgusting! Ugh. Oh, I don't want to get close to it. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, that looks so gross. That looks so gross. That would be perfect for a prank video. Look, all you do is take some of the brown and take the other brown. You just combine it like this. And then you put it right here, you put it in here, and you put it like this. You have to have the noises like this, like, ah, 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 okay, there we go. Ooh. Ooh, wait, that wasn't enough, it's not done yet. Ah! Okay, now it's done, okay. We're good. Okay. Look at that. No. Okay, wait. Guys, and that is how you make Play-Doh poop. You have to make sure you really just push it to the limit, you know? And uh, oh my goodness, that is so gross. Oh my gosh, look at these. Oh my gosh, i put that right there. Okay, got the corn. Bang! Made some corn. Uh-huh, uh-huh, honey. Okay, bang. I only had a little bit of corn for dinner that night. If you guys gave me enough likes on this video, maybe I'll go prank somebody with this. All right, leave some comments below. Say prank, it's the magic word. Okay, prank, 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 prank. All right, let's see what is next in my Amazon boxy boo. Okay, here we go. What? We just did a unicorn thing, but now there's a bag of unicorn farts. How did they capture this? Can you guys imagine that? Like, they're like, all right, just come on. So I know I fed you so many beans last night. It's ready. It's ready. It's ready for you. Just capture in this bag. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna capture it. <laughs> did they just catch it like that? I like the packaging. I think we're gonna take a lot of time to just really enjoy this packaging, all right? It says 100% magical, 100% majestic, 100% mythical. I really like that about this packaging. Uh, let's open this bad boy up. Ooh. Wait, so they just sold me overpriced cotton candy. How much did this cost? Guys? Oh, they won't tell me how much it costs. It's probably expensive. It's very dense. For cotton candy, I, I've dealt with a lot of cotton candy before. This is very dense, so that means this cotton candy is like this big, but they like compressed it down to become this kind. Let's try this unicorn fart. Here we go. Mmm, it tastes good. It's different. They definitely mix like different flavors of cotton candy. I thought it was just gonna be cherry, but it tastes like different flavors. Oh, very fluffy. All right, this is delicious. I'll give this rating of a, a 7.5 because I've seen cotton candy before, but it's interesting how they package it to look like a fart. It tasted really different and very dense and fluffy. You don't come fart. All right, the next one is my candy candy. Don't look in here, guys. Don't. You're not allowed to look. You're not allowed to see what's in here. What is that? What is that? I'm interested. I'm interested. Are you interested? It says nose aerobics basketball. What? What does this mean? What's going on? This is nose aerobics. Oh, it looks like some sort of basketball hoop thing for your nose. Interesting. Okay. Let me put this on here. Uh huh. Yes. Like in there, like that. Then you're supposed to put these on the ends of it so your glasses don't fall off. I get it. This is like a hand game thing, but with your nose. Are you guys ready? I'm kind of excited to try this one out. So, you know, it's pretty portable. You can wear it around like, hey guys, you guys trying to do some nose aerobics? And everyone's like, what are you talking about? They're like, I got you. Don't worry. Nose aerobics. Here we go. Like this. 
And uh, let's see how hard this is. Nose aerobic. Nose aerobic. Nose aerobics. Oh, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought this was gonna be. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh! I did it! Oh my gosh, that is so satisfying, guys. If you guys can get this, like, I know you probably I look like an idiot doing this, but it is really fun. I would definitely do this in public because it is definitely a neck workout. Like, like all this moving. And it's really fun and you can play with your hands too, I think. Yeah, you definitely can. Not just with your nose. So if you get bored and you're like waiting in line, you go like this. Or you can just play with your friends in line like this. Come on. I am the one, the way you're trying to that was awesome. I would give this, like these things. Whoa, okay, besides the fact that they keep breaking, since it's also like glasses, so you can look cool like Superman, and you can also play with things, I would give this an 8.5. It's really fun. You can also put it in your mouth like this. So the fun just never stops. So I really like this. Amazon, you did really good on this weird product. I like this a lot. And uh, I would play with it for sure. This is, this is really fun. The next product is, I gotta close my eyes, bacon mints. It's gonna be really weird if it actually tastes like bacon. I love bacon. I love bacon so much. Oh my gosh. I just I haven't had it in a really long time too, so if this really just hits that spot, I'm gonna buy so many of these mints. Oh my gosh. Uncle Oinker's bacon mints. Which is weird. Like who thinks to combine bacon and mints together? Here we go. In the mouth. They just like froze the fat. And you're just sucking on fatty juices of bacon. Ah! Ah! That's really weird. That is so weird. I'm gonna give that one a 6.5 because I would definitely wouldn't eat it and I love bacon. But as a prank, that would really be funny. Like, hey, do you guys want some Altoids or some normal mints and they put in their mouth like, unless they really like bacon. I don't know, it just tastes weird to me. It doesn't taste like bacon, it just tastes like Fat. I'm just sucking out fat, so I would not recommend these, but still really fun to try if you guys want to try it sometime. Next one is here an iPhone kit. What? The gift of nothing. What is this? Congratulations, you have been given the gift of nothing. Absolutely nothing. This is the ultimate in minimalism. What? Less is more, or more is less. Don't you see? Open the package and be aware. Nothing will happen. All allow nothing to flow through your mind. Calm your soul. Enjoy the nothingness. You can discover that nothing is really better than something. This is some like LA gift. There's really nothing in here. I feel like they're joking. There's no way. I feel like someone paid money for this and they have to put something in here. Come on, Amazon. Is there at least like a fart or something? I would love to smell that. This is, it doesn't even smell weird. It says creative gift. This is not creative. This is hurtful. What is the point of this thing? Just to get my hopes up to think I got like a new iPod or iPhone or something. Wow, this one sucks. Interesting, Amazon, interesting. I would give this a 7.0 because I know there's a lot of girlfriends and boyfriends out there that would be really upset if they got the gift of nothing. Or mamas or papas, if you got this for your mom or dad, they'd probably be mad. But if you read this, it's actually pretty nice to read that part where it says, nothing will happen, allow nothing to flow through your mind and calm your soul. Next gift, I want something this time. Please tell me there's something. Last thing, here we go. What? Public toilet survival kit, what does that mean? Okay, it says your kit contains wipes, gloves. Guys, we actually might have to go somewhere else to try this out. Here we go. Public toilet survival kit, let's do this. All right guys, so we're here at a public toilet. Okay, it's not really a public toilet, but as you can see, this is one of the toilets that no one really takes care of, so it's kind of nasty. It smells really, <coughs> bad in here, but this is a public toilet survival kit. Let's see what it has in here, and let's see if it'll help me survive this toilet experience. Okay, so I'm gonna open this bad boy up. What is this? Oh, 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 this is the seat thingy, but it's like a square shape, so it's universal. You guys like that? It's universal. Got these gloves on, all right. Now I can now touch the toilet. Okay, wow. Wow, and then it comes with wet tissue and wet tissue. So you can like scrub down the toilet if you want. Okay, public toilet. This is very versatile and it fits in your pocket like right here. And as you can see, let's test out the paper. Wow, it's very comfortable, it's very soft. <laughs> I like it, okay. I would give this a, uh, 
an 8.0 because I like to be clean sometimes. So Amazon, 8.0 on public toilet, uh, this public toilet kit with the gloves and stuff. I like it a lot. If you guys are, are dromophobes like me sometimes, you should definitely carry one of these with you because public toilets are the worst. All right, we're on to the next one. Here we go. I think this is, it feels like the last one. This box feels very empty. Oh, whoa, what is this? What? Instant underpants? What? Okay, this is real? This is real how? So that was like in the same category as the emergency thing. So if you went to one of those public bathrooms and you had an oopsies and they had no more toilet paper, don't worry, you got instant underpants. What? All you have to do is just add water? What? Wait a second here. How? How? This is so weird. Just add water. All right, I'm gonna get some water. Bear back, here we go. All right guys. I'm back, I got some water right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and pour it on here. Here we go. Um, nothing's happening, Mr. Underwear. It's like waterproof. Come on, grow! Underwear, grow! I really need this underwear, I messed up my underwear. Okay, as you can see, it's slowly sucking up this water right now. And it's slowly like getting into all the crevices of it. It's getting bigger. Ooh, it's growing, guys, it's definitely growing. Come on, underwear, I need you to grow, please. I had a big oopsie, and I need you to get bigger so I can wear you, and my friends won't laugh at me because I won't have a giant brown mark on me, okay? Come on, underwear. Come on, grow, grow. It says instant, this is not instant, so that's one complaint I'm gonna have right now. It's like how they say instant ramen. I feel like instant ramen's faster than this. I made ramen quicker than this, underpants. It's like a donut now, I'm <laughs> like dipping a donut in coffee. <laughs> Uh, uh, what do we got here? Oh, there's one major flaw with these underpants design. Um, all your underwear is wet now. <laughs> so you have this soaking wet underwear that took longer than instant. It says instant on here. So I mean, I gotta dry it. Look, that's me to dry it. Oh, it's getting water everywhere. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. Alright, now that we got our underwear semi dry, it's still a little soggy. Okay, let's see how comfort this comfort level is of underwear. Uh, Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. I have some instant underpants on right now. They're made for like little kids, I think, not like big boys. I mean, they're not exactly Calvin Klein, but they're pretty, they get the job done. They look nice, you know? They make your butt look okay, like my butt looks okay right there. My thighs look delicious right now. They look like KFC thighs, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is my instant underwear. They're kind of tight and they're definitely making all my clothes wet. So let's just take this underwear off. Let me rate this product now. Let me just rate you. Okay, what would I rate you? I would rate this product about a 7.9. It was almost an 8. If it was instant, I would give it like an 8.5. But it's not instant and it gets wet. Let's put it back in here, compress it. Here we are. And it fits! So now I can reuse it. Okay, I'll give you one more point for that. I give this an 8 because it fits back in. So you can keep reusing this nasty underwear. All right guys, so this next one isn't in a box because it's a live animal. It is like, we can't just ship it, you know? So they shipped it, but someone actually had to hand deliver it. So someone's gonna actually hand deliver it to me right now. They said it's live. I don't know what weird Amazon product is live. Wait, <laughs> it moved. I think it moved. What? Oh, an albino pet rock? <laughs> what is this? Is it really alive? Or am I just being dumb right now? Wait, it says pet rock. Okay, rocks are not alive, Marlon. Okay, let's just open this up. It's very stop. You're scaring me. It smells kind of weird. Like it peed or something. Can the rock pee? Guys, I got a rare albino. <laughs> what the heck? Pet rock. I'm gonna name him Marvel instead of Marble. I'm gonna name him Marvel, like short for Marvelous, because you're so marvelous, Mr. Pet Rock. You're very marvelous. Okay, when you receive it, don't forget to celebrate the birthday. All right, this is the birthday of you. It is today. I'm gonna write that down. Oh my gosh, it loves commercials. It says here, it's a good companion for dates. You can bring it on dates with you. Uh, they like to be tickled. Okay, it says your pet rock can be playful. They like to be tickled. All right, I'm gonna get you, Pet Rock. Here we go. <laughs> I gotcha! I gotcha! Look at him just dance around! Look at him! Look at him just like, he loves this! He loves this so much! I know you do! I know! Oh my gosh! I need friends. Uh, just like other pets, uh, Pet Rocks like to go on, on walks. 
Really? Pet rocks like to go on walks. All right, let's test this theory out. Do we have a leash in here? There's not a leash. This is just some of the food, I think. Oh wait, is this the leash? Nope, this is just food for the pet rock. Eat it, eat it. Eat the pet, eat the food, Rocky. Eat the food. Okay, good boy. All right, I'm gonna take you on a walk. You wanna go outside? Okay, let's go. Just like other pet, pet rocks like to go exercise walks. Okay, let's, uh, let's take this pet rock outside. All right, so we're outside now with my pet rock. It's on a leash. Let's see if he wants to go on a walk. All right, Marvel, are you ready? You ready to go on a walk? Okay, all right, I'm gonna put him down. Okay, my pet rock is here. Let's go for a walk. Come on, come on, Marvel. Come on. Hey, Marvel. Come on, Marvel. Come on. Okay, it's a lot harder to walk your pet rock than I thought, but he comes. Yeah, yeah, we're doing it, guys. You like this, Marvel? Yeah, we're walking. We're walking real far. Come on. Okay, this is really tiring. Pet rocks are really, they require a lot of exercise. Oh, look at all your friends, look at Marvel. Look at these guys, look, do you wanna to go to the rock park? Okay, let's go. Come on, Marvel, come on, don't be shy. Come on, play, let's play with them. <laughs> look at them, look at they're playing. Oh, he took his leash off. Okay, yeah, go, be free, Marvel, have fun. Oh no, look at, no smoking. See, this rock was smoking, bad. Smoking is really bad for you, you should not do it. Especially that one, he was too young to be smoking. Bad rock. Anyways, okay, wow, this is really fun. All right, Marvel, you've been, you've been playing a lot. Let's go back inside, let's get you some water. Yeah. All right, so I had a lot of fun with my pet rock. I'm gonna put him back in this crate for now. I had a lot of fun. I would give this a 9.0. Oh my gosh, my highest rating so far because not only is it really fun and weird, but it's also a very great companion. Yes, you are, Marvel. So I love him. I'm gonna put him back here, and it's rare and albino. I'm gonna put him there. And uh, I hope you guys maybe invest in Pet Rock too because I had so much fun playing with them. Oh my gosh. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I had so much fun playing with all these weird Amazon items. There's actually 10 weird Amazon items here. These are all so strange. If you guys want me to do more of these from anywhere, just list the store down below and watch all the way to the end. The secret word is Jello. Okay, just write Jello. No one else would know. Only you people that watch all the way to the end of the video know the secret word. And sometimes, I, actually, I want you to combine the secret word and the other secret word that I said earlier. So combine those two, if you still remember, okay? If you know the secret code, you might win something, okay? And I'll see you guys later, tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. Peace!